Hi and welcome, thank you for joining me on another uh, adventure. Today we are looking at the ViewSonic Gaming um, Omni, I think it's called, um, Gaming um, Portable Monitor. Uh, this is the VX1755, it's 17 inches, full HD, uh, LED backlit display. Um, so it's 17.3 uh, inches viewable. Uh, it has a stand. Um, which allows it uh, to tilt uh, USB-C and mini HDMI port. Uh, so um, let's just go ahead uh, and have a look uh, further down. So this is the charger. Um, it comes with a 60 watts, I think I've seen in here. I do like that uh, you just uh, put the cable in. That means that if the cable breaks, you just replace it with another one. You have an European uh, adapter and the UK adapter So I will use this one But it's nice that you have the option uh, in case you want to use it in a different country um, So I'll put that aside That's the HDMI cable um, that's included as well, which is uh, great because uh, it is a mini HDMI to full HDMI uh, As you can see in here, that's the full HDMI uh, and that's the mini uh, HDMI. So that's really nice. So that's really good to have. Uh, and then uh, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable in here. Let's just open it up. This is something we're probably going to use now. Uh, and then also USB-C to USB-A uh, port. So uh, let's skip uh, what we think we're going to use. So I'm going to... I think it also takes pass-through. Uh, so it might charge from the laptop. But we'll test that. Uh, and this is um, some instructions. So let me just put this aside. Because we don't have much space uh, on the desk. So this is the cover um, that goes over the uh, screen, so you will protect it. And that's the 17 inches, uh, that's how big it is. Uh, so let's put this on the side a bit. And uh, let's take out the monitor carefully from here. Let's keep that in there for now. Uh, it's very light. Um, and very slim as well. So let's just take this out. So that's the consume. It's a class uh, D. So that's how uh, slim it is. The bezels are like that. And it has a metallic um, back on it. It also has down firing, down firing speakers. And the back it's like this, very fancy. On the side, you have a jack, audio jack, HD, mini HDMI, Type C, and that's for power. On the other side, you have uh, tactile controls. Uh, hope you can see this. And the uh, LED light. There's also a foot stand which can be expanded like that and it goes up to there so you can uh, uh, lay it back so now let's see how we can put the cover so if this goes like that or I just need to read the instructions for this one not too sure Definitely this magnet in there. I don't know if it goes like that maybe. I think it does. Yes, yeah, so I think that's how you put the cover. And then uh, when you don't need it, it just tilts on the back. It's very, very useful when you carry it around. So let's just... Take all this away 
and uh, have a quick test. So I'll just remove the cover for now, we don't really need it. And I feel like it's in the way. So, and he also has 144 um, hertz, so it would be brilliant for gaming. If I can tilt it a bit more. Yep. So also um, the screen itself, it's um, so it's not really reflective, which is good. So let's see if it has a built-in power, maybe. It doesn't seem to be having. So let me just connect uh, the power. Okay, so I've plugged in the charger. So let's just plug it in, in here in the first port. Let's see if we get anything if we turn it on and yeah i think uh we're just getting it just says view sonic gaming and it says no signal so now uh let's see so now how do we connect it because my uh idea let me just try something I have a spare uh, cable, a spare USB cable, which uh, I want to see. And this is the one that will allow you video on as well. So um, if we plug this in into the, so you see it's a USB C to C. So we'll plug this into the uh, USB C port. And then we have a laptop in here. And we'll connect this. Unfortunately, I'll have to drag this on the side a bit. Uh, because this laptop has uh, the USB-C port on this other side. So I'll plug that in. And let's see if anything happens. And straight away, uh, you have... Um, uh, is mirroring uh, the image. So... Uh, Let's just try and extend it. Now let's go into settings, display, and then we'll do system display and we extend. And we keep that, oh sorry, we keep it, and then uh, let's see what's one. So that's one, that's number two. And uh, as you can see, it's working just fine. So if you want to multitask, uh, you will be able just to drag this uh, on another screen like so. Um, I have to say, uh, it looks really good. Um, now I'm going to try a few um, settings. Um, it's going to be a bit hard. So I'm pressing on the star button, see what that does. So that's uh, showing a little menu in there. Very hard when you don't have space. So let me just put this screen down on the laptop. Um, hopefully we can still see the image, but I went to sleep. Uh, so let's see, if we press uh, star, nothing happens because we kind of need that on. Okay. Let's, let me see if I can do something. Oh man. We don't have enough space. So let's try. Why do you need to stay on? I don't know. We'll put that like that and hopefully you guys could, can see this. So uh, pressing the first button in here and um, it just shows an option for the language. 
So I'm gonna just uh, say yes to English. And then uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna press the second one down. And it's saying change OSD settings may increase power consumption. I'll say no on this. Uh, but I just wanna see, let's just accept it. I'll say yes. So then we have the game mode, contrast, brightest, input, main menu. So let's just press on the game mode. So this one will give you an option uh, for the S FPS. So let's just go in there, see what's going on. Okay, so um, let's try again, see if there's any difference. So game mode, it's custom, no idea what is all this. And obviously because it's just uh, in Windows, I can't really tell the difference. But I guess when you're playing a game, it would probably help you. So uh, let me just go back in there, see what else we have. Ah, you even have something to select the input. Let's see what's on the menu. So you have input, select, audio, adjust. So let's just go... Um, to uh, audio, uh, that's where you have volume, and now it's at 50%, and mute, so we'll go out of this, and we'll go um, to view mode, so you have game, movie, let's just get inside this, so movie mode, that will look a bit different, web, text, for text, um, it's actually quite nice. It's um, dimming the brightness. Uh, and you also have an option for Mac. Wow. Uh, okay, and then also a mono, which will be black and white, which I've never really seen on a monitor. Maybe I didn't look into the settings that much, but I'll just leave it on standard for now. Uh, if we go out of this, we can adjust the colors. The brightness, color space, gamma, um, manual images adjust so you can do sharpness, uh, spect ratio, uh, black stabilization, advanced DCR, response time. Uh, and then you have the set setup menu uh, with loads of loads of options in there uh, for you to, to, to choose from. So let me just go back in here. Press enter. So obviously you have the language, the AMD free premium uh, res uh, resolution notice uh, information. So under the information it says um, uh, full HD 1920 by 1080. Um, I can see V fre frequency is 60 hertz. Um, okay, let's go back in there. Main menu. Uh, what else? Information, oh, SD timeout, power indicator, power off, sleep, echo mode, and then uh, auto de detect, memory recall, and then back to that. So I always just want to see something. If I go out, if I go back into the view mode, if we put it on game, and then we'll do FPS. And then we go out of this and out again. And I just want to go to the menu again and just check the info. See if that shows more. Okay, it doesn't show more. It looks like it does have a battery um, because it shows 77%. So if I actually uh, disconnect the power, it should hopefully still work although it's yeah it's just uh, reconnecting 
hopefully unless this went to slip again yeah <laughs> so it works uh, without um, without that um, what would be interesting to see is if it's uh, also charging but uh, I won't really be able to test that now because um, I don't really have a way but would this charge back my laptop if I put this let's see So we plug that in and uh, I think we can see on this one uh, it's not actually charging oh no it's charging yeah so it's charging my laptop as well huh. that's quite good so you can have only one uh, charger with you um, and you will charge this and the laptop so that's great um, so yeah let me just uh, quickly change it uh, back from the um, from the gaming mode actually I might just leave it in there because I want to connect it to a, a gaming console next. So I'll just unplug this uh, and um, I'll be back in just a second. So we'll connect it to the Lenovo Legion, Lenovo Legion Go, and uh, we'll see. It looks like that now, but I'm going to change it. Hi guys, so... Um, that's how it looks like, so I'm now controlling it with my... Uh, it sounds, sounds good as well on the speakers. So let's see... I've done uh, 144 on the... Actually, let's have a quick look. Because from the game, I was able to put the 144 refresh rate. So, uh, let's just see. Not too sure if you would show in there, uh, but I uh, just want to check uh, settings and it was under information. Yeah, V frequency, frequency 143. Nice, 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 nice. So let's see how it looks like uh, when we play. Let me actually turn off the, the light a bit um, so you guys can see a bit better. To be weird with uh, a huge controller uh, <laughs> but um, the screen uh, quality is really good sounds decent as well Yeah, no lag at all. So yeah, there you have it, guys. <laughs> um, I think it's a really good option. Um, because what you could do, you will obviously take it with you at, uh, at your workplace. Um, or if you are working uh, remote from your office and you just connect your laptop um, via this cable or you can just connect it via HDMI. Have you seen we've, they've included the mini HDMI uh, port. Uh, so they've included the mini HDMI port which will go in there and then uh, you can have the device charging. But I do prefer using a Type-C one I'm actually thinking now, um, uh, maybe it works to transmit the image via uh, the USB-A port. Um, actually, let's just try that quickly. Okay, so I've just tried. <laughs> Let me just turn this down a bit. Um, so 
So I've just tried uh, the USB-C to USB-A and uh, it doesn't do anything. So I'm not really sure what it is for. Uh, maybe it's an option of charging um, the display. But you, you can't really use it for uh, projecting an image, which I was quite sure, but uh, I just wanted to try. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Please uh, leave us a comment, give us a like, and please subscribe if you haven't done it uh, so far. Um, and yeah, uh, looking forward of uh, using this um, and see how it behaves in, uh, in time. Um, so far, I can see the charger is a bit... Uh, uh, warm but that's that's normal because he was charging also the laptop uh, so yeah a really beautiful uh, portable display which i'm gonna use uh, a lot thank you for watching